Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna check out these cool morphing icon animations that I've made inside Adobe XD. Scroll down to the comments and type in which is your favorite of these. Is it number one, is it number two, or is it three? Personally, I love the first one that without wasting any time, let's just get started with the video. Now to begin with, we will start with a basic artboard. Let's just draw a basic square artboard. It can be of any dimension that you like. And for the first effect, we'll start by making one circle. We'll put that in the center. I'll remove the border and I will give this a particular gradient from here. But I've already saved that gradient. So to save time, we will just pick that gradient. Uh, I suggest choosing a dark color and then going to a slightly lighter uh, tone of that same color. Now comes the part where we have to focus a little bit. Double click on this circle uh, so that these little anchor points appear and right next to the anchor points place another anchor point by just clicking here. See how this anchor point has appeared? Do the same for all four of these anchor points right next to them put another anchor point. I'll tell you why in a minute. Now that you've done that, just hold Option or Alt and drag the circle out so that you'll create a copy of that circle. Slightly scale down the circle and rotate it a little bit. We don't want a complete rotate. And we also want to change the gradient up a little bit so maybe make one of the sides slightly brighter or just bring in this and this gradient point in a little bit okay now it looks similar to what we have originally created i've already downloaded from the material design library a pretty good icon which i think fits this animation perfectly and i'll just make it slightly larger and put it in the center make sure that whichever icon you pick is an SVG. And I'll change the color to white, of course, looks good. Next step that I will perform is drag and select everything on the screen here and go ahead and press Command K or Control K on Windows and you'll convert this into a component. See, a new component has been formed. The next thing that we need to do is click on this plus icon on the right which allows you to add a new state. If I click on this and I can name this any state, I'll say on tap, which means when I press this button or tap this button, it'll change its form. Now, while on tap is selected and highlighted here, what we need to do is morph this image. How we do that is, it's pretty simple. I'll double click inside here and double click once again to make these anchor points appear again. And what I'll do is I'll double click on these anchor points, which will basically remove any curve from that anchor point. The next step is to double click one of these anchor points once again, any one, and just drag these handlebars in a little bit. So there's, there's this slight curve uh, in between these two anchor points. And to remove this, other handle, all I need to do is hold Option and Alt while clicking this and drag it in. Now there is no curvature on this other end. I'll do the same step for all these anchor points. I'll fast forward so that you don't really have to wait for the results. Now that the outer circle is done, I just want to do the same with the inner circle so that we replicate the shape of the outer circle. I'll skip to that portion where we are actually doing 
stuff to this icon. Once you have all, both the shapes morphed into this slight square, just rotate it. Uh, you can rotate it in a slightly different direction if you want. Rotate both of these uh, at least 180 degrees. So I just, I'll just change it from the top right here, 180. The same here, 180 and the same here. And what I will do with this icon is very similar. I'll double click so that these anchor points are appear and I will just double click on each of these anchor points at the bottom as well as on this edge here so that all these lines are completely straight and I will simply line, line them together, line. I'll simply line them together like so. Make sure the the thickness is more or less the same. So I'll just adjust this a little bit. We'll do the same thing for this other shape here. Double click on all these anchor points to make this a solid shape without any curves. Now that we have a final shape on tap and default state is of course this circle. I'll start by prototyping. I'll click on this arrow here and tap is activated, which is perfect. Auto animate, perfect and destination I want is on tap, perfect. And ease in out 1.4 seconds, that should do it. And on tap also, I will click on this arrow, auto animate, and I'll choose the default state of course. Change the timing a little bit, 1.1 seconds, should do it. If we go back to default state, play this animation, I'll bring this in the center. And if I click on this, ooh, see how this animates? Now you can do the same, you can rotate these arrows if you want, or you can leave this as it is. Okay, the second one, okay, so the second one is rather simple. I create a rectangle, not too tall, slightly wide, and I remove the border. I make this 24 pixels on the border radius, and I give this a black color, perfect. Other thing that I'm gonna do is just duplicate this, and I'm gonna give this a custom gradient. Now this gradient is a little trippy with multiple colors in it. Just create a crazy gradient with multiple points uh, on the gradient and you'll be done. What I'll do is place this rectangle in the middle and I'll bring in a alarm clock, a alarm clock icon that I downloaded and place it. And I'll place this alarm icon in the middle over this rectangle. Next thing I'll do is first of all, just duplicate this alarm and select both the background color as well as the alarm clock app icon and go here on the top right, you'll see this intersect icon. Click on this intersect icon and there you go. The color has essentially blended in with the icon right here. Next step I'll do is bring this black, little black uh, uh, rectangle back here and I will make sure this icon is white Oh, I can't see it, okay. Um, I bring this alarm icon in the center and that's all we needed to do. Now what I do is drag out, and make this a component, Command K, Control K in case you forgot. And I'll click on the plus icon, new state, and we'll just name it state two for the moment. The next step in the process is while the state two is selected, go to the assets panel, open the component, and inside you'll see this intersection. Click on this intersection, double click in fact, and select the path here. Now press enter or return, and you'll see these anchor points behind the alarm icon here. And all you need to do is just drag it out. And as you can see, the color unfolds. And on top, when you reach, just double click on these anchor points, drag these handles out to make this like a little petal and just do this exact same step with every single anchor point here. Just drag it out to make space and you know, double click and make this like a circular shape. Once these shapes are basically spread out to cover the entire area of the rectangle, I just click outside and there it is. Now if I go, to, go back to default state, I can select prototype, click on this little arrow, arrow here and select state two, make sure auto animate and tap is on, ease in out of course, 1.4 seconds, and state two will do the same, but change the artboard, change the state to default state.
that's about it. I'll go back to default state, play this animation, click on this rectangle, anywhere on this rectangle here. Oh, and see how it animates? It looks super, super trippy, but it's a very smooth and interesting animation. Okay, so for this last animation, I've already created this shape, which consists of three different shapes, essentially. And inside this, I want a tick or a done, and a little done icon right here. Now this done icon looks pretty good here, but I'll just shift it back here and drag the done icon in the middle once again. Just copy it and drag it. And here, what I want to do is double click on this done icon and enter. And what I'll basically be doing is dragging each of these anchor points out to make for a very large space, which essentially covers this entirety of this background graphic that I've created. No curves, no nothing. That's about it. Now what I do is just select this shape and select the path behind this, which is LEPS1, part 6 and part 7. These are the items I want and I'll say Command Shift M or Control Shift M to mask these things together. I'll drag out and make this a component by clicking Command K or Control K. The next step I want is click on this plus icon once again and I'll say New State. I'll leave it at state two, of course, for now. And in state two, what I want to do is double click here and then press enter to select this little shape on the outside. What I'll do next is basically trace this shape onto this little icon here. You can have as many anchor points on this little shape on the outside, but you just need to bring it close and turn it into this icon right here which is the tick mark icon, of course. And I'll just carefully drag these out so that it looks pretty good. Now that is a convincing tick shape. Now for one last step, I will select the, the tick mark, which is on the outside, the white tick mark, make it much smaller right here and make sure that the opacity goes down. If I click on this and I'll select default state, go to prototype mode, click on this arrow, Go to destination, state to ease in out of course, 1.4 seconds and auto animate should always be on. Go to state two, click on this arrow and do the same thing, but choose the state as default state. And that's about it. If I go back to default state, if I click on this play icon and I press anywhere on this icon. Ooh, this looks nice. And see how this little icon spreads out when it opens up that adds a little bit extra flavor to this little animation here. Let's hit 12,000 subscribers before the end of this year. It's a pretty good goal. I think we can do it from yours truly. We'll see you in the next video. God bless.